Okay, so uh, I'm gonna throw up a cooking vid and uh, I'm gonna take the whole thing because I like long streams and not, I don't like to edit. So let's see what we got. All right, so broth, onions, spinach, sausage, pasta, pasta. I'm going to fill this glass. All right, here we go. Uh, have faith in me because I don't really know what I'm doing with this camera, but uh, I need to eat and I need to cook and I need to shave, but I'm only doing two of those things tonight. All right. Let's get this camera set up in a spot that's conducive. Woo. All right. First things first. Let's, huh. That's what I thought. Let's organize this. Chop, 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 chop. A bowl of fun. All right. One cup of pasta. It's actually two cups. Could be a little sloppy, a little over one cup. Really, man. This is gonna to be too long for Facebook, so it's obviously gonna be up on YouTube. Uh, these things are great. You should buy a whole bunch of them, cause trust me, they're easier to wash than destroying paper towels all over the continent. Cause everyone all across the world is destroying paper towels all over the continent. These can be easily washed. All right, let's try not to cry. Don't cut the top off. This makes you cry. Ready? Don't cut that off. Cut off the hat, which is this. Get rid of that. Ugh. Cut this in half. I'm going to need this eventually. So bad at peeling onions. I always take off more than necessary, but when I don't, I get that hard top layer. All right. A little scarring, get that off. Another onion, but I'm out of onions. All right, here we go. Yeah. 
Yeah. This is what happens when you... Uh, here's another thing. Always get a big cutting board. Short cutting boards so for cheese. We're not cutting cheese. All right, here we go. Excuse the sound is trash because I really need to put up a video and I'm kind of half in my own head about a lot of things during this pandemic. And people who should have left me alone don't leave me alone. Even though they said they wanted to leave me alone. You know, so you get into this mindset. So you better cook. Cooking clears your head like art clears your head. What in the hooey? Um, so yeah, I'm beginning to feel a little, good lord, it's all over the counter. I'm beginning to feel a little teary because of the onions, but normally, uh, all right, so one more time. Ugh. All right. Whip, chop, two, three, four, five, mm, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. I try to put thirteen in here because thirteen is that important number in America. And let's go. Finally, dice them. Not too fine because when we're done here, we're just gonna yellow them up a little bit. There you have it. No tears. Hat still on it. Good job. I have a lot of onions. I'm standing on onions. All right. So one good sized onion or two small onions. Well, if you really like onions, one big ass onion. All right. Um, here's another, here's the thing that I do. I cook as I go. We're going to change the camera angle for just a bit. And I also clean as I go. Because at the end, I don't have to do very many dishes. And it's what I've always been doing since my mom taught me these tricks. All right. I wish I had some funky music to play for you. Let's change the camera angle. <laughs> Gotta get it out of far enough away from the... Mm. Let's put you here. Let's see if this works out. All right, so. Big ass pan, a high flame. Good Lord. Olive oil, need a little more. All right. to test if your oil is hot. Nope. So I drop a 
bit of water, just a drop or two, because when it begins to spit like that, I generally know it's done. All right, so let's uh, go over what we've done so far. Chopped an onion. Good job. Put oil in a pan. Oh man, we are swimming. Um, and we shuffle this camera around a lot. All right, I'm trying to get it right because the swing arm is not cooperating. All right. We can turn this down. Ooh, every now and then you pop one that got in there. All right, so we're gonna do this on about medium. And we're gonna do that for about five minutes. Yeah. You don't really need salt and pepper in this because there's going to be enough in the salsa. And I generally don't do a lot of salt. But I do do a ridiculous amount of pepper. Yeah, these grinders are great. Everyone should get them. They cost like five bucks for two. So, home chefs be awake. Oh man, I am losing a lot of onions off the back end of this thing. We need a little more oil. Ooh, all right, so you can make these as done as you want. There's another one that shouldn't be in there. I will right, leave it. Um. I like mine to be yellow, almost done. Look at this. Uh huh. Look at this. This is yellowing. This is yellowing really good. All right. Um, we're going to do that on low while we flip this drink. Right about at the point where we drop this sausage in here. All right, good job. 
Look at this. It's yellowing. Um, and it's uh, right about where I like it. I could let it go longer to get a little burn on it. It's not bad. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. The one good thing about this pandemic is it relit my light of cooking. I think I gave it up because I like to cook a lot because I'm from a big family. And I was at my sister's house yesterday and she tore the place down with some good food and I got like a lot of good old home cooking for my sister. For ancestry and progeny people. All right, so yeah, that was fire. Let's do this one, open this. Just dump it all in there. And while that happens, we'll begin to get the broth ready. Come on, guys, there you go. All right. That is when we swap to a wooden spoon. Oh my God, I thought this was, it isn't. I thought this was thawed, it's not. But it isn't really that big of a problem. Everything shatters and breaks down under heat and water. So you can get this to as many chunks as you want. Yeah. It doesn't matter if this is, I mean, you, it should have been a little more thawed, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't sweat it. I have fairly big pieces in mind anyway. So, right, so we're gonna cook this with the, excuse me, with the uh, eggs on low. And we're just gonna keep moving this thing around. And every time it cooks, yeah, this is already beginning to get good. All right, this is always where I make my mistakes, right? Now what I have to do is get the broth ready. So, all right, you want the heat high enough. Oh, that's gonna be good stuff. To get a good fond going on the bottom of this thing, as everyone on YouTube tells you what fond is, you ain't gotta get me, but you know, it is what it is, and it is good. And you can't argue with them because they're right. All right. So. So we are gonna cook this. You know what? We'll leave this. We'll leave this. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna plug this phone in just for safety. I'm trying to take this cord off the camera. Yeah, this is almost where you want it. Look at this. Look at this. So that's going to shift in about 10 minutes. 
we can turn this up a little bit. Lahaim, for all my Jewish homies. Think about you, Big Potter. Here's the thing about YouTube, there's a whole scope of talent on YouTube. Some of these people are ex-chefs, some of these people are chefs who quit early because the world was on YouTube, and I get all of that. I appreciate all of that, but at the end of the day, some of us are just people who don't have a lot who like to cook. <laughs> and excuse the camera shaking. Okay, so you guys are plugged in and my camera shouldn't go off on me because this is going to take about another half hour. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. There you go. All right. So while this is doing this, slow and steady. Wow, look at them onions. The onions are finally just now becoming translucent. Right? Look at this. This is pretty good. I'm one of these guys who finds recipes online and I make them. Uh, I would like to tell you who I got it from. I don't know if I should do that. Because uh, you should find your own recipes and your own people who inspire you to cook. But uh, yeah, there's a, there's a ton of good stuff. Like I said, everybody has a different flavor and everybody cooks slightly differently. Ooh -wee. All right. I almost want more pasta, not pasta, beef in this. I should put broccoli in this. I wonder if that broccoli I have in the fridge is any good. Because if it is, I should throw it in this before it goes bad. It's another thing. If you got stuff in the fridge that's about to go bad, cook with it. It does a couple of things in my experience. It makes you quick on your feet with stuff that you have in the house over long periods of time. It's not, like, it's not gonna be over like a summer. But uh, yeah, my mom could have like six things in the whole place. And she can give you a good meal for her man and her kids and my aunt and like my nieces and not my nieces, my cousins when we were little kids. And I talked about like her cooking ability. And once we had a conversation where she said she forgot so many recipes she must have known a thousand recipes in her, and she was like, oh, I probably only know like 400 now. I'm like, 400 recipes? I wish I knew 400 recipes, but this is what happens when you, right? You feed a family every day for 50 years. No, not 50 years, you didn't live with it for 50 years, but for easily 20 years, right? And that, before that happened, you were feeding yourself and your own, as a teenager or early 20 person, and then before that happened, she was feeding her husband, right? And you don't know my family, but my Aunt Rhett and my mom has a, have a, uh, a rivalry going about Thanksgiving dinners back in the day, man. And whoo, did we benefit. So yeah, man, it's uh, cook. It's good for you. Cook for your family. Cook for the people you love. Brothers, sisters, families, friends. Cook for your homies, man. One thing I love, did like about... Uh, some of this California culture I, I saw early on was they had front yards and everybody barbecued. Very few people in, in the East Coast who were in hip hop barbecued. There was no land in, in New York and Brooklyn, right? Um, but fewer land, rather. My uncle had a nice piece of place that we hung out with every summer. But they looked like they could barbecue in their backyard. They didn't have high rise, uh, essentially prison for poor people, which we now call projects. Um, you know what? I'm going to hit this with some you know, a little rosemary 
Not a lot, but a little. Right? And... Where is it? 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 I can never find it when I'm looking for it. It's never around when I need it. Shame on it. Alright, where is it? I know I didn't run out of it, and I know I didn't use it all. So the question becomes, where is it? I don't know enough people to lend out flavoring. All right, all right. Well, I guess that's it. All right, well, there yeah, you go. Okay, so this is looking pretty all right. I'm gonna let that. The great thing about dry herbs is once you get them wet with anything, grease, olive, well, mostly water, but they begin to kind of like come back to life, which is nice. I cannot find my... I have something that was better than this, but I don't, I can't find it anymore. That should be about a quarter of what I'm looking for. All right. Ooh, look at this. You know, I'm surprised I didn't, maybe I should turn this up a lot. I'm surprised I didn't get a lot more found on the bottom of this thing. So it tells me that I should not be babying it. I should really just scorch the ever-loving bejesus out of this pot. and I can't find it. And if I'm using Herb de Provence, you should probably know who I got this recipe from. If you're an honest YouTuber. Woo wee, this is gonna be fire. I can use this or bouillon cubes, which I have a gang of right now for some reason. So what I need, each one of these is a, tea, uh, a teaspoon, this is a half a teaspoon actually, it should be a full teaspoon, so I guess. Two more. Get your math right, people. Um, so yeah, so this is two teaspoons. What I'm going to do with this is nuke the ever loving F out of it. 
You've almost missed the whole pot. All right. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at this. All right, yeah, there's a lot more action on the bottom of this pan. Yeah, see that? There's a lot more action. Um, I should have put bacon in this. Ooh-wee. All right. This is gonna be awesome. <clears throat> Take this, hot water, and you clean your uh, making tube with it. Hot water kills all germs. This is clean. <laughs> and then, this needs to be three, where it is something, this here is something. All right. We're gonna cut this down. And we're gonna add this beef broth. But this is super more concentrated than you're supposed to use it. All right, so what I'm doing now is getting all that stuff off the bottom of the pan. All right? This is low because what it's doing is cooling down the pan because the pan is hot and the water is is hot still but not as hot um and once we get this all in here which is all broth right but we have to cut it that's two with another cup of broth good job all right Light another cup of that up. All right, so we turn this down and then we ratchet this thing. We need to get it up and moving, all right? With a little more water, but we still need to get it up and moving. This is a lot. All right, this needs to boil. And it's beginning to. And while we're doing all that, we're club scrubbing the bottom of the pan, getting all that stuff off, right? We've all seen enough YouTube videos. We know what exactly how valuable the pond is on the bottom and the sides of these pans, right? All right, we're beginning to bubble. And here we go. So we are just going to stir this forever. We're going to add water as needed. This pasta is going to absorb all this milky liquid, this gravy. And while we do that, we're going to scrub the pot and all that good, fond flavor, good stuff. Let's turn this up right. And uh, yeah, we are good. So while this happens, because we're going to stir it, stir it. Stir it, not stir it. Stir it. Let me get this fine going. For the remainder of this dish, as we stir, we'll add liquid as needed until the pasta becomes what we're looking for. Halfway through, I always put in more pasta. Um, because, I don't know, it always looks like it needs more pasta. But that's my eye. Your eye is going to be different. All right. So we'll put that here. The problem with the broth is you forget how much you put in. This is two cups. And then da 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 da. So yeah. All right. So I think this should be, this should be good for a little bit. While that happens, I will do what I always do, which is the dishes. 
Alright. This goes. Well, that saves. This was clean. This goes back to the cabinet. So, mind you, this has to keep being stirred. And we're just going to cook this until the pasta So, the pasta should be cooked in 10 minutes, but when you cook it like this, it's likely 20. So, whatever the pasta is, just double it. Uh, I throw in multiple pastas in here, so uh, I play games with the. Let me turn this down a little bit. I play games with the. Uh, with uh, how long they're in there. Okay. Well, here we go. I'm done with this. I can wash you. I can wash you. I can wash you. Another thing, I need sharp knives, and every knife I find to sharpen the, my knives are always the worst shit. It's like they give, excuse my language, but it's like they give sharp uh, implements um, to, I guess, serious people at home. Cooks can just go kick rocks. <laughs> I mean, the idea that, yeah, see, I'm, I'm, I already, I'm already looking at this, and I want to put more pasta in. Yeah, but I think that's what's going to happen. All right, so we are putting more pasta in. Let's go with penne, and let's do this. What looks to me like a cup. At least half a cup. Well, I guess I don't need a half a cup. Done. All right. I never find that this matters, because once they're done, they, they all seem to, yeah, this looks right. All right, so, we're just going to soup this up, and this is going to be ridiculous. But the problem with this is, it is pasta, look at that gravy, it is pasta, and pasta is the problem. Um, I got two things to do, I got to wash this, two more things, I got to put more broth in this thing. One bright red onion bowl and a spatula. Crimson as ever. And here we are. Put this here. Shake hands off. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And we need more liquid for the pasta. So, this is what I do. I, uh, I overload the bouillon with less water, and then I add water as needed, essentially diluting the broth. But as it cooks, all of the heaviness gets into the broth. Excuse me.
I've made this like a handful of times, easily six to ten times. Um, it always takes me longer than what I, how I learned to cook it on the box because I think I cook twice as much. But, um, God, it's always fire. It's always fire. Fed it to my brother who came through. And he liked it. And, you know, that's a high compliment. We all know that, you know, as you get older, some people think that they're better cooks than other people. Um, in my family, the guys can cook and the women can cook. Some guys burn the place down seriously and you're like super impressed. But all the women seem to be able to do that. All the women seem to have fire in their cooking ability. Um, so yeah, it's uh, you learn recipes and you talk smoke and people who love you tell you how to make something just slightly better. Or, like me, you know, this was supposed to be with orchetta. I don't like orchetta, so it's rigatoni and penne. But um, uh, it's also with uh, kale. I use spinach or broccoli or um, arugula or any other number of green things that you can throw in here. But when you do broccoli, it doesn't wilt like leaves do, so you got to take that in mind. But that doesn't bother me either. Why am I telling you all this? That doesn't bother me either because I, I like my vegetables mostly raw when they're cooked in something. So yeah, it's uh it's a good stuff. Look at that. Look at this. It's coming along nicely. Where's that hot water? Actually I might need to have a little more booyah. Just a little more. This is why you have to keep stirring it because as the water evaporates and the, the pasta soaks up all this goodness, it begins to stick to the bottom of the pan and you don't want that. All right? So you always want enough gravy at the end to have gravy. Enough gravy to have gravy. All right, here we go. So essentially, how much broth? Broth, broth, oh, excuse me. So, uh, 16 ounces of sausage, which is a, a, a pound. We all know this. Um, it'd be funny if I was wrong with the 16 ounces. But, uh, yeah, 16 ounces, uh, two cups of pasta, uh, two heavy cups because I always put in a little more. So, maybe two, maybe three. Um, but you, two, two cups of pasta, and uh, about three cups of broth. This is about three cups of broth. Um, ooh, look at all that. Look at all that water. Well, that water is going to be fantastic once this thing absorbs all this pasta. So the pasta with the starch and yeah, this is just going to be the bomb. But again, I, I think I need a little more water just because it's a lot of pasta that needs to absorb all this and I actually just put in new pasta. But by the time I work everything through, everything helps everything heat, right? So if you were cold and I put you in with two super hot things, those super hot things would, would help you get warmer. Um, so this is what we're doing with this pasta. Ooh -wee. Now you can see because the pasta is beginning to get fat, right? All right, let's stick this in the front of the door. Why is that open? 
Ugh. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. I wish I had cherry tomatoes. I would throw some of those in here. We're gonna turn this up since I'm here stirring it. All right, the pasta is just beginning to get there. So that means we've got probably about another five minutes of stirring. Because remember, the pasta takes about 10 minutes if you boil it. So doing it this way, it may take 15 to 20, maybe 15 to, you know, a half, depending on how you, how high your flame is. Because this, this heat is a bit aggressive, right? I'm pretty sure I could dial back the heat, dial back the heat, um, and have it sort of rest in the, the juices and it will absorb the juice, but then the ones on top wouldn't. So this is part of the reason why you keep it moving. And another thing, wooden spoons are mandatory. They're like, they give you like five for like 10 bucks. And I know 10 bucks is hard to come by, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying we're all made of money. Nobody's Bezos out here but Bezos. And uh, yeah. So we are gonna look at this. Look at I keep dropping stuff under the. All right, come here, you. Ouch. <laughs> what I don't want is that to be so close to that flame. Get out of there. All right, there you go. Whew, good lord. Ugh. It's bad enough to take the stove is full of. Onions. Now, look at this. Hmm, you see that? That gravy is the fire right there. That right there is the fire. And it's already beginning to reduce nicely. So what I now have to do is check the pasta because it's been about 20 minutes. So this is how we do that. Pasta. Perfect. Not perfect like it's ready, but perfect like it's about where it needs to be because it's got another 10 minutes and it's almost there. So what do you do? More water. And you turn this bitch up. Excuse my language. You turn that girl up. And you keep stirring. Rubbing the bottom, keep stirring, rubbing the bottom, flipping, flipping, moving, moving, rubbing, 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 moving, moving, rubbing. Exactly, 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 exactly. You're thinking it, it's a dance, it's a connection. It's I like you and I wanna do some stuff, and you like me and you wanna do some stuff. So why don't we all get together and do some stuff in this giant pan with sausage and gravy. Oops, there you go. Good Lord, I am off my mats. All right. Let's put that in there and get another wooden spoon. Yeah, see, this is almost right. So you got a lot of gravy in here, but what you don't have is soft noodles. So you keep hitting it with water as the water burns off. I'm gonna have to, have to put some more water in this. It's generally, what do I wanna say? Six cups of water, slowly stir it in. And uh, we'll see what happens.
I don't think I'm gonna need that other water over there after I hit this. I think this may take me the next 10 minutes. Ooh, look at all that right there. I find that it helps to tip the plate to get stirring going because everything falls to gravity. Yeah, it's already feeling less clunky and more spongy when they hit each other. Do I need to turn this up? I think I do need to turn this up. Good Lord, I am making a hot mess. But that is the point of cooking. You're supposed to be able to make a mess. All for having something great come out of it. Oh, man, I'm losing stuff over here. Get back in here. And that actually felt really soft. So, we'll see. Maybe in the next five minutes. We can go to the next stage of this thing. Yeah, let's turn this up because I'm going to burn some of this water off from this gravy. one that fell out of there. Ooh I think it's, it takes long because quite frankly all this cooks by steam like the, the, the ones on top Almost no gravy in this pan anymore. Still got kind of something. Yep. Yep. This is about almost good. Get in there with the rest of them. Jailbreak. All right. So I think this is not really where I want it. But if you're cooking, you should make sure it's where you want it. So. Okay, we'll put this here, here, and eat this so far. Yep. 
So when you get to this point, if you leave it alone, oh, sorry about that. If you leave it alone for like two minutes, it'll begin to stick to the bottom of this thing. That's why you have to keep it moving. And the keeping it moving also helps with the cooking of the pasta, pasta rocket. But remember, always take that stuff off the bottom because it's gold in this scenario. Yeah, so I think that was the last batch that we need. We need to just burn that off and keep it moving. And then we hit the next step. Huh? Look at this. Look at this. All right, so this has been about an hour. Thanks for hanging out with me if you watch the whole thing or skip through it, either one is fine with me. Um, let's test the pasta, because I think the water is good. Yeah, it's already burning off. Okay, let's turn this down. But where are you? There you go. Not bad, huh? It's still not awesome. More, more, more. That's a lot. That should do it. All right. Well, that should have done it, but apparently it didn't. So this had better do it. Or maybe I'm pulling the ones that I put in late, so they're not done yet. They're semi-raw. Let's turn all this up. The great thing about this too is, after it's done, you can leave it in this this gravy, and and the pasta absorbs the gravy. So it's good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. It's actually better the second day. You know how you know you drink too much when you can't find what you left to drink. All right. All we want is soft pasta. That's what we're waiting for. Takes min 10 minutes in a giant tub of water on the stove, but it takes about twice that, maybe a little less, when you do it in a pan. This is better, I think. It's my great new discovery of this year. Come on, man, get in there. Remember, wooden spoons. Keep stirring it. Too much liquid. Now I gotta somehow burn this off without destroying what I'm trying to do here. Ah. No jail breaks. Get in there. wash dishes while I try and cook stuff. Like I said, just that fast. We're sticking to the bottom because it's pasta. I know this looks 
good. This to be, looks to be right about where we need to be. So let's turn this down a skosh. We drank off the water. I would hope that the pasta is about where I need it to be. I went to a restaurant and bought this. 30 bucks. Perfect. Next phase. And there you have it. Oh, for God's sakes, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? People are watching you. All right, so this is what we want. We want to slowly churn this in and have it wilt, which is going to be easier than you imagine. Turn it in, 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 and you're good. See, we're already there. Jailbreakers, jailbreakers, get in there. As I get older, everything gets heavier. I wonder why that is. Come on, man. Are you making everything leave the pot? So what will happen here is this whole thing, I should probably get a, will just wilt. And the wilting is the magic of this dish. Although I like mine like this, about this wilted, because it's naturally going to keep wilting. But you can like yours super wilted, which is what we're going to do here. All right, so now this is what we do with this. We can actually turn the flame off and hit the bottom with a little water. And just get the rest of that good mix in. Ooh-wee! We should let this sit, but I mean, come on, seriously. That's what we're going to do. And then we're gonna come back and put it in the plate. And you guys can uh, tell me how, you know what? Screw that, why don't we just do it now? Cause I don't really wanna edit. I'm not actually hungry, I just wanted to cook, all right? Look at the gravy. It's all in the pasta. We'll put this here. We'll take this. We'll do that. The stove is a mess. We'll show you some finest. But then we hit some pasta. We're not all balling out of control. We don't have all this fancy schmashiness everyone else has got. So we go to the stove and we buy regular old cheese. And there you have it, dinner. Salt and pepper to taste. Look at how freaking ridiculously lush this is. 
Ooh wee. And you get a mixed proportion, sometimes more pasta, sometimes more, uh, not pasta, more beef, sometimes more spinach. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Look at that chunk of sausage. So pasta, 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 spinach, sausage. Like I said, season to taste. Uh, minimal salt, minimal pepper. For me. For you, knock yourself out. All right, guys. Thank you. I know it's not. Oh man, who I gotta fix this camera stuff. I know it's not traditional, but uh, I appreciate whoever watched because between you and me and the wallpaper, it is not easy. And uh, we can all find our way wherever we find our way. So thank you. And I'll see you next time.